Good day. In this training video, we'll have a look at transactions in MOOB Advanced, including patches and reversing of patches. In the finance module of MOOB Advanced, transactions are recorded in batches. A batch is a group of transactions that can be posted to the ledger. The batch must include at least two journal entries. For each journal entry, the account and the debit or credit amount must be specified. In processing entries on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll usually work with documents from the subledgers, such as customer invoices from receivables, and the batches are created from there to be posted to the ledger. In the previous video, we modified the chart of accounts so the salaries and wages would be reported in two different expense accounts. Our company has analyzed the salaries account and found that 500,000 needs to be transferred from this account to the new wages expense account. From the finance menu, we will click on journal transactions and then on the add button to add a new journal transaction. The module will default to GL since this is a manual journal. The batch number is system generated transaction date and post period will default and can be changed. Now we'll enter a description for this batch. Transfer of wages from salaries expense. Let's have a look at the different batch statuses available. We have the on hold status. This means that the batch is being edited and can be saved without being balanced. The balance status means that the batch is being edited and can be saved only if it is balanced. We also get the unposted status. That means that the batch has been released but has not yet been posted. The posted status means that the batch has been posted to the ledger. There are two more statuses. A scheduled batch, that is when the batch is used as a template for recurring batches, and avoided batch, where the scheduled batch has been cancelled or removed from the schedule. We will now continue with adding rows to, this, to specify the journal detail for this batch. Let's click on the Add button to add a new row to the batch. We will complete the debit entry with our wages account details. Enter the sub account details and the amount of 500,000. The description will default from the description already entered. Now complete the credit account detail as salaries account and tab through the rest of the line. The journal batch now has a status of balanced. The setup for finance in our company allows the batch to be posted immediately once the batch is released. This setting is done under the posting setting sections on the general ledger preferences form. From the batch form toolbar, now click on release. The status changes to posted and the batch becomes read only. We just transferred 500,000 from the salaries account to the new wage expense account. Let's say it was discovered that this journal did not need to be created and must be reversed. Let's navigate to the journal transactions form and bring up the finance batch to the screen. From the actions dropdown, select reverse batch. A new batch will be created reversing all the entries on the original batch. The original batch number will be added to the summary section with a hyperlink to the batch number. Now, let's release the new batch and then go to the original batch using the hyperlink. The original batch now has the number of reversing batch showing in the summary screen. In conclusion, Journal transactions can be posted to the ledger manually or from batches that are created from subledgers. Please let us know with your feedback and join us again for more as we explore MOOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.